Yet again is raining here in the UK and uh, I just want to talk quickly in this video of how we should make time for ourselves to actually take a break from our daily life. Now, I'm not happy doing this in the car, let's do this somewhere else. Ah, that's better. Currently in Greece, sitting out by the crisp blue sea and definitely increasing my chances of sun damaging my skin. <laughs> However, precautions have been necessarily taken and we shall get into the very point of this video today. And if you get anything from us, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Now, a lot of people don't really seem to take time for themselves and whack themselves silly in a job that would replace them in a small amount of time if anything were to happen to them. I know more people are willing to travel now, but at what point is it that you get to before you start planning something for yourself and doing something that you want to do? Now, don't get me wrong here. I know some people absolutely love whacking and doing what they're doing. Some people might not even like to sit by the beach and drink cocktails all day. Gary Vaynerchuk springs to mind here, as he has always stated on many of occasions that you would prefer to carry on building businesses in his downtime rather than sitting by the beach. Now I suppose that does make sense. I'm the same because I love doing these videos just like this even when I'm abroad. I've escaped my nine to five job because that's a lot more pressure than you know having the responsibility of doing these sorts of videos. So I suppose it's about knowing your cutoff point. So here we are then. My question to you would be do you know where your cutoff point really is? Do you have the correct work-life balance? Do you know when you're about to burn wicks from both ends or do you keep going until you've absolutely exhausted yourself? Now we can look at a few things here. Number one, are you happy doing what you're doing each day? I guess it needs to be stated, doesn't it, that you need to take time to identify the activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Consider what aspects of your daily routine you look forward to and what areas you might need to adjust. Reflect on whether your current position or pursuit aligns with your values and long-term goals. Number two, are you pushing yourself too hard or do you know your limit? Did you evaluate whether you're consistently pushing beyond your physical or mental limits, recognize signs of stress or exhaustion, and lean into prioritizing your self-care? Understanding your boundaries can prevent burnout and promoting real progress to where you need to get to. Number three, do you know when enough is enough, or will you still keep pushing for little to no reward? Maybe you could examine the reasons behind your persistence, evaluate whether you're investing time and effort into the things that offer meaningful rewards. It's like I know many people who tell me that they don't get recognised for the work that they do and the efforts they put into their job. They go in on weekends and do all the extra hours and say that they don't get praise for the time that they've put into it. Assess if the adjustments are needed to align your efforts with the worthwhile outcome that you're trying to produce. Number four. Ask yourself, why do you do that? Why work that hard if you're not being rewarded for it? Delve into the motivations driving your actions. Identify whether your pursuits are driven by intrinsic factors factors like passion and purpose or extrinsic factors such as external validation or societal expectations. Understanding your why can clarify your intentions and guide your decision making. Number five. How can you gain more balance between career, relationships and your own downtime? Now this one's an interesting one because looking into practical strategies for achieving balance, this could involve setting boundaries, say, around work hours, prioritising quality time uh, with loved ones, or scheduling regular periods of relaxation and self-care. Reflect on what balance looks like for you and take intentional steps to get it. I think by addressing these questions that I've come up with, you can add the details to make it more personal reflection on what your situation actually is here. I hope this can give you actionable insights insights for navigating where your own path goes from this point forward. I would suggest going towards great fulfillment and balance. Take time for yourself to let go of what's happening. Take a break. Reset your egg timer and begin searching for answers to these questions. You owe yourself that much at least. So thanks very much for watching. If you got any value from this, I would ask you to consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button because it helps more people get to see this message. Also to say that I have plenty more uploads coming soon that you won't want to miss out. So make sure that you do smash that button down below so thanks for watching and speak to you very very soon in whatever video that may be cheers now don't get me wrong here i know people oh, for fuck's sake come on shut up doing what they're doing some people night now nah, night no nah, night do you know when enough is enough oh, God. the loudest moped Extrinsic factors such as ex external. Fuck me, this is mental.
just have a sippy sip from a cuppy cup of my drinky drink. What are you laughing at? I would suggest... Ugh, there's a bug on me. I would suggest going towards Grit... I would suggest... I would... But... Just wait for that coach full of grannies to go by. <laughs>